Amigos, tripulantes de nuestra sailors of our dear contaminated and only spatial craft, the only one that last time we saw each other has turned once again on its anchors and of course continues generating events in full development. The moves performed by imperial forces have deep influence in our country. Eventually, thinking in an intervention in Venezuela. Yes, you listened well. Eventual intervention in Venezuela. Why? Because we are rebel, because we are independent, because we don't break before any imperial power and we're not af afraid of seven U.S. bases or things like that, but they are looking for a meeting of stakeholders to intervene Venezuela. Why? Once again. The Persian Gulf, which, which produces at least 45% of the world oil, it passes through this throat here, which is the most important place of world oil. It separates the outcome of 45% of the world oil. Now, to arrive to the United States, they have to follow all this route towards South Africa, the South Atlantic, then go upwards and seek to go to the Caribbean and just then reach Texas. This represents 40, 45 day, uh, days of sailing. Oil transportation is one of the great business of oil, but some of the main oil reserves, proved reserves in the world are here in the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, and they are not 45 days, but four or five days. And we are surrounded of traders to Bol Bolivar. Remember that when Bolivar crossed the border, he freed five nations, not to put his hand in anyone's sovereignty, but to free them. So those who betrayed with seven, and now we know there are nine, U.S. bases with a sister, like the sister Republic of Colombia, are just replicating the U.S. interests of Washington. And this means we're going to have to have a real politic uh, exercise to see the meetings, for you to see the meetings that are being held against our Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. News update, and then we will see more interesting stuff. The United Nations delegation of uh, the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela congratulates the general meeting president uh, decision by naming as co-facilitators our peers from uh, to contribute to the achievement such an important matter of UN agenda. We also recognize the ambassadors of Romania and T Tunisia for uh, the work performed in the group during the past session. Mr. President, the complexity of the challenges uh, against peace and security, the economic and social development, and human rights demand a renewed and strengthened organization to enable the United Nations to provide adequate political answers to enable to achieve uh, effective and timely solutions. 
the amendment of the uh, United Nations, the integral amendment of the United Nations, including the Security Council, is one of the main axes of this process, which we should commit to. For, so uh, to see this effort uh, successfully materialized, the Security Council must be more representative, democratic, and transparent, consistent with the times we are living. While there is full agreement between the UN member states about the move the need of promoting uh, an amendment to the Security Council, this has. Has, goal has not been able to be achieved for two decades. It was incorporated to the uh, General Assembly in 1994. We are still concerned that to this date we have had no significant progress in this sense. The stagnation of negotiations affects the credibility of the process and generates doubts about the will of some members of this organization in working for the amendment of the Council with a vision oriented to specific results. Therefore, we, need, we believe a reflection is necessary on what has been done until now and on po more political will to proceed. In this context, Venezuela deems that after 20 years of discussions, we are in a sufficiently advanced phase that demands uh, uh, entering in a substantial process based in a negotiation text in order to achieve tangible results. Mr. President, in what concerns a possible uh, expansion of the Security Council, we are convinced that the amendment process sure should incorporate uh, developing countries of the regions of Africa, Latin America, the Caribbean, Asia, and the Middle East. An expanded Security Council shall include different realities, political and economic realities of the, the developing co uh, countries Likewise, uh, Venezuela sees uh, an amendment to the Charter very useful to enable members not only to have functions in the Council with the election of a two-year period. Mr. President, the inconsistencies that remain in the methodology of the Security Council, Council demand uh, taking decisions that lead to an amendment that translates in more participation of the member states in the discussions of this entity, as well as having uh, considering their decisions in the uh, decision-making process. It is contradictory that uh, as peace is an element that interests all the members of the mission, sometimes because of the Council's agenda, impedes the members to participate. Public meetings should be the rule and not the exception, which unfortunately has happened. Likewise, the absence is a final regulation, the discretionality with which the entity operates according to the interests of some permanent members negatively interfere in the uh, Council's work. This is why we uh, support a final uh, modification of the Council with a sense of equality, balance, and transparency. On the other hand, we must uh, also mention our concern for the abuse and use of uh, sanctions when we resort to this mechanism in a uh, rushed way and with a, a view that is against uh, uh, the solution of, of conflicts is something that does not help peace. Seventy percent of the sanctions committee of this uh, uh, Security Council refers to uh, our, our sister African nations. While sanctions should be used as a last resource of the United States to revert conflictive situations in favor of peace, nevertheless, we consider that the use of uh, peaceful means uh, for conflict resolution should be used. We also believe that the sanctions should have a limited duration, have uh, periodic examinations, and clear criteria should be established for their uh, 
lifting because a country cannot be uh, subjected to uh, sanctions without uh, uh, regard to the demonstrations of the state under concern and uh, the group of experts. Mr. President, throughout your uh, history, the mechanism, deci decision-making mechanism of the Council has not been without critique. Even if we acknowledge that some permanent members have uh, used uh, veto as in a responsible way, we must not ignore that this resource sometimes has become an obstacle for long-term resolution uh, of conflicts, like the Palestinian problem where the United States has used this resource to favor the occupying power. This year, unfortunately, we celebrate 70 years of Nakba, or the expul expulsion of the Palestinians from their land, 50 years of the Palestinian occupation by Israel, and 10 years of Israeli blockade against Gaza. All this systematic violation to international humanitarian law and the resolutions of the Security Council and the General Assembly themselves occur and continue occurring through the systematic use of veto and support of the United States of the occupying nation Israel within the Security Council. The United States thus does not only abuse their powers as a permanent member, but also uh, deviate the ob objectives of the Security Council instead of guaranteeing world peace and contributing to a peaceful resolution of conflicts. It has turned into in a perpetrator of Israeli occupation of Palestine, Palestine and uh, an occupant of North Africa, when the United States does not achieve the support of the Security Council, it uh, acts uh, unilaterally, such as the illegal intervention in Iraq with the terrible consequences that now the people of the Middle East are suffering. The United States, which a permanent representative used this side to qualify the General Assembly as a false policy, when we vote uh, largely 191 votes in favor uh, of rejecting the blockade against Cuba, and when the same U.S. representative pointed out that she didn't care about this historic decision of the General Assembly, the United States pretend to use the Security Council to intervene in internal matters of Venezuela by using all types of uh, manipulations all types of events, parallel and informal events. All the members of the United Nations and the members of the Security Council, the members of our region are aware that Venezuela is not a threat to peace and international security. We Venezuelans, as we have said and proved, will resolve our own matters in peace and we demand respect for our sovereignty and independence. We do not want more U.S. intervention in our matters. U.S. maneuvers uh, discover their true intentions of destabilizing our country. Latin America and the Caribbean is a zone of peace. They will not take us to violence and war. Mr. President, the Security Council cannot be used in a way other than what it was conceived for to preserve international peace and security. It cannot be used as an element uh, for of a specific permanent member, in this case the United States, to advance their own national interests and, in this case, to destabilize our country. Otherwise, Mr. President, it would be useless to amend this body of the United Nations. To conclude, Venezuela reiterates its commitment in favor of shared goals of the Security Council without defiguring its purpose and nature, which is an important element in the process of strengthening our organization. We cannot have a strengthened organization and renewed organization without materializing the amendment of the Security Council. 
We cannot have uh, entities that act in the core of the United States, like the secure of the United Nations, like the Security Council, if it works uh, against the principles of the UN Charter. Thank you very much, Mr. President. The retiree Brazilian uh, Brigade General he talks about the military exercises, Amazon Log 2017, in an interview thanks to Telesur. The use of troops uh, where Brazil has wealth and other countries has mineral wealth, and the Amazon is uh, full of water and air. They are robbing our oil and copper. It's a questionable thing because I think the potential enemy of those countries is the United States. It's the potential enemy that is over Latin American wealth. And Latin America should act as a Latin American country. Brazil and Latin American people must uh, uh, be together to defend the wealth of the peoples of this region. The important thing in Amazon Log 2017 is that the test of an invasion called uh, America, United America can be uh, turned into something that could alter geopolitics. For example, in the main uh, reservoir of oil and strategic minerals and resources, which is the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, we must consider this. This is not fiction. It's the reality around us. Amazon Log is the most recent military combined exercise with uh, uh, the U.S. imperialism South America performed in the city of Tabatinga, border with uh, Colombia and Peru. It has uh, in the midst of the Amazon and throughout 2017, the strate uh, strategies of uh, Southern Command have performed uh, tests in the islands of Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, spaces in Colombia and the coasts of Chile and Peru, in which many have uh, uh, construed as new exercises uh, preparing for intervention in Venezuelan land. At the time, the lost hegemony or reduced hegemony in the last two decades is being recovered. If there's any doubt uh, in this regard, we must remember that August 23 and 24 this year, in Lima, a meeting was held under the under Kurt T, the commander of the South Command, with members of Argentina, Colombia, Chile, United States, Peru, and Paraguay, with uh, invasionists' uh, goals against the Venezuelan government, where they set new strategies to uh, face the Venezuelan crisis in the last years. And uh, this would uh, be in consistency with the threats made by Donald Trump, who is not only a president and has decided to be a commander in chief and needs some war for his ego. The multi-state multi uh, force uh, conducted by the Southern Commandant was started to uh, be planned in 1993 by George Bush. And this represents 1,500 Brazilian military, 150 Colombians, 120 Peruvians, almost 30 US soldiers, and that all participated in military maneuvers. What does this represent? Until now, it's a military exercise where they make uh, maneuvers as usually. But the at the bottom of all this is seek the way of interfering. Here, we have a car Respondent in the uh, place of maneuvers, I thank this to Telesur, who tells her, tells us uh, where this meeting has reached. One of the main actions in the days uh, of the event, which are two, they have installed a campaign hospital. The participants have helped in the hospital, in the local military hospital that serves the population in this uh, region, right on the border of Brazil, Colombia, and Peru, uh, practically 
inaccessible uh, site. We can only arrive by ship or by air. It has no telephone communication or usual uh, internet. Uh, in, it's a city that needs uh, assistance to continue developing. The activities developed uh, in these facilities include a hospital. Nevertheless, the most uh, controversial uh, fact is the participation of the United States in a press conference that took place here. Army General Guillermo Teófilo says that there is a theory of a conspiracy theory around, uh, according to him, that the United States are only here to help because they have broad experience in assistance in case of catastrophes. So 30 representatives representatives of the Southern Command and the Forest Command of the United States are uh, participating and supporting with logistics with one Hercules C-130. They thought we, they will bring a kitchen, a water purifier, but this didn't happen. They are only participating with this uh, aircraft we just mentioned. The focus of the event, as I said, was emphasized on several occasions by the o main organizer, which is the logistic commander of the Brazilian army, which is humanitarian aid. Since he said there was a conspiracy theory because of the uh, closeness to the Venezuelan uh, border, he has that there is nothing to do with that, and this exercise could be repeated in other regions of Brazil or the or the continent. Brazilian journal Gaucha showed a foreign uh, army to combat in uh, national territory should be considered a high treason act. But uh, for the United States, this is not treasury. This is the uh, the doors that have been opened in Latin. American jungles. Once again, we must say that it's not only about Venezuelan wealth, because uh, in the Amazon, the 95 percent of Niobe, the reserves essential of uh, steel, Niobe is essential for spaceships and intercontinental missiles, and 96 percent of titanium and taxino are there for the space and military industry, gas, uranium, and diamond. But also, we have those of Venezuela that are more than known for those who are interested but uh, have not been said officially. Now, these are the list is of the uh, uh, military bases of the United States and Latin America. We have several countries that not only have five, six bases, but they are willing to act uh, in complete agreement at the time of intervening in some country. And on the list is Venezuela. Of course, uh, this brings a different reading than the official one. And the European Union agrees to sanction Venezuela and embargo the weapons. Jorge Arrasa said important victory of Venezuela, Cuba, and Alba at UNESCO. We have been elected members of the direct, uh, Directive Council, and we continue strengthening multilateralism. There is no imperialist resistance that can uh, work against our diplomacy. There are other claims in this sense. Venezuela, besides being member of the Council of UNESCO, says that four Caribbean members elected are San Vicente, Grenadine, Grenada, St. Lucia, and Jamaica. The six countries of Latin America and the Caribbean share the will of strengthening UNESCO and its educational and cultural policies. Congratulations. Well, this was uh, uh, something I uh, followed uh, one, once I came in the morning, and the director of that program looked at me uh, as if I was a ghost, and I was saying they have uh, disembarked. I had to take out my old uh, nine-band receiver I had in my uh, pocket when we went to uh, the fronts of war. That was horrible. 
In this, uh, on this matter, what we have at Portas is a search to justify an intervention in the Venezuela, Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. And these things that are happening in the corner of the Triple Alliance is the beginning of everything that could come after. Remember, we have the main wealth not exploited yet. Well, APEC and Vietnam 2017. But on the other side of the world, we have news. APEC, new economic de uh, development trends. Sign up to a program of deliverables that will continue the story. The executive director of the APEC secretary, Dr. Alan Blark, is talking. We hope to see the leaders and then the ministers ascribe to a program that will continue APEC's uh, life and that is helping the region to unite, helping the growth of economies and helping to increase the way of living. There's still a long way to go, so we hope to see developments towards inclusive economy like like uh, assuring the benefits uh, uh, reach all society. We have to see e-commerce, internet economy, and especially for small companies, we're seeking for some um, strategies that help the economies to join. Behind this, there's only pure imperialistic economy. Dr. Alan Ballard said that we have been discussing more about what new economies are, and it doesn't mean less commerce. But some economies are concerned uh, by the rules of the market. Trade for APIC is different. We are not uh, mandatory juridically. We are a voluntary group of economies, and we meet and only talk about economy, level of life, place where we work. We discuss at personal level. There's a uh, a spaghetti ball in Asia. We try our uh, recipes around the uh, region to see how economies work. And yes, we all need APIC, even more now. In Hanoi, Vietnam, Dr. Ambolard, executive director of APEC, said that APEC has great programs around uh, 2020. Until now, they are going firm. So now we have the opportunity to see where we go beyond there. APEC could change its direction. Of course, the region is changing as well. So we could do more to work on goals, so the BOGOL, the, the name uh, of the program that helps eliminate uh, barriers and trade, but they could do more looking at the inclusive economy and see how to disseminate the benefits of growth among the economies. These are the areas we will analyze. Well, this is only about the big ones eating the little ones, and there's a growing market in the far uh, east. China helps uh, ask for help to eliminate tensions in Korea. What to wing? The spokeswoman said, we have been observing the declaration of President Trump closely. It was about the Korean nuclear pro uh, problem during his visit to South Korea, especially uh, in his uh, speech this morning. I only want to reiterate is that China's position on the problem of the Korean Peninsula is clear. We persist on the denuclearization of the peninsula, and we will work for peace. And we will solve the problem through dialogue and consultation. The current situation in the Korean Peninsula is very delicate and complex. We hope that all stakeholders make positive efforts. Well. At all this, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of China underlined that all parties involved should make more efforts to alleviate tensions in the Korean Peninsula. We have been observing the declaration of Pre President Trump closely during his visit to South Korea, especially his speech in the National Assembly about 
of uh, South Korea this morning. I would like to emphasize that China's position on the nuclear problem of the Korean Peninsula is clear and consistent. We persist in denuclearization of the peninsula in and struggle for peace, and we will solve problems through dialogue and consultation. The Korean Peninsula is complex and sensitive. We hope that all stakeholders make positive efforts to reduce tensions in the Korean Peninsula and that they can eliminate nuclear topics as soon as possible and solve problems through negotiations and dialogue. Well, China asks for dialogue to resolve the crisis in Yemen. Hua Chun Ying, the spokeswoman, said that military conflict in Yemen have continued for years and have ser seriously affected stability. Hwang so Ping, the director of statistics of customs, China's foreign trade with the roads rose 19.4 uh, from January to October this year. This means that China has continued deepening uh, the economic cooperation around the route since he proposed the initiative of the belt and the route that is related to old routes like silk. This year, cooperation has had a good development uh, impulse, and in 10 months, uh, exports imports in China with the countries along the route reached 5.97 trillion yuans, which increased 19.4 as related to last year. Shanghai, China, recent matters. The initiative is for that China deepens economic and commercial uh, cooperation along the route since they proposed the initiative, the belt and the route. As we said, this is related to the old Silk Route. The last 10 months, uh, China's export and imports with the countries along the route reached 5.97 trillion yuan. China recorded a great increase in foreign trade with the countries along the route, three and a half percent more than China's uh, trade balance along the year, and they are inaugurating the Conference of Autonomous Vehicles. This happens in Shanghai. For our countries, we have a probably good basis for smart vehicles and autonomous. Who comes here? Trump. He starts a state three-day start state visit to China. I have received, uh, uh, he was received by the uh, State Councilman of China and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. He shakes hands with uh, the minister and his wife as well. And then he greets children and the Secretary of State also, and flowers, which are a tradition at the arrival for important people. The first Trump's first visit uh, since he took office in January. It left a good part of the original, original sound for our honorable Chinese community. During his stay in Beijing, Trump will meet with President Xi Jinping and other Chinese leaders. Strategic meetings uh, on matters of common interest to improve common interests, promote bilateral relations and friendly relations, according to the minister, Chinese Minister of Foreign Affairs. Besides the formal activities uh, consistent with the state visit, they were. There will also be informal meetings, said Xi. It's a first meeting between Xi and Trump as chief of state after the one in Florida, the second one in Hamburg in July. 
呃十九大结束之后呃所迎来的第一位国事访问的外国元首，走迎接特朗普和夫人梅拉尼亚。With great parades and a characteristic uh, delivery of flowers, Chinese uh, president welcomed uh, President Donald Trump on his uh, to the prohibited uh, city. We were there uh, in 1985. We went back 20 years later, and it's impeccable. This is a temple of Chinese history. The difference is that now, instead of going around in bicycles, they go around in le uh, state-of-the-art cars. The problem is uh, contamination. Well, why North Korea and trade are the main topics in the formal part of the visit, China has shown great interest by for Trump's visit, the first uh, made by a foreign leader after the key Congress of the Communist Party. The other breakage with precedent is she himself who gave Trump, uh, accompanied Trump uh, with a visit in the Forbidden City, heritage of uh, humanity. Well, there was no tourists to alter beside uh, the first two couples went to uh, the Chinese opera and wonderful uh, acrobatic exhibit. While uh, the, the large palace is usual for uh, state, uh, heads of state, it's very strange for a Chinese uh, president to accompany them. Chinese authorities had promised this, although it, this is not uh, Regular. It's an honor, an honor uh, protocol. This is Chinese opera. Samguan交流期间，两国元首还就治国理政及中美关系等共同关心的问题交换了看法。丁薛祥、杨洁篪等参加上述活动。Bilateral in Korea. Always brushing towards home. We manufacture the best, the world's best military equipment, whether aircraft, missiles, no matter what, we have the best military equipment in the world. And South Korea will ask thousands of millions of equipment for them and for us. It means employment, produce our, and this is our way of reducing our commercial balance with uh, deficit with Korea. And we have approved. Uh, several orders. Thank you for the question. It stands prepared to defend itself and its allies using the full range of our the full range of our military, in unequal military capacity if necessary. Crucial security association with South Korea is just an aspect of our last longing alliance. As you s you've seen, Trump uh, cut his uh, old haircut and is now uh, improving his image, uh, what is expected of a president. We will jointly confront the actions of North Korea and we hope uh, stop uh, the dic North Korean dictator's uh, threat against millions of life. We hope, in fact, that God, thank, we hope we never use it, but uh, that being said, North Korea should uh, be present on the table with a deal that is good for the people of North Korea, but we will see what happens. certain movement, yes, but let's see what happens. Another question that suggests something, and he confronts it. If you did what you're suggesting, 
Si hiciste lo que estás sugiriendo, no habría habido ninguna There wouldn't have been any difference uh, in three days, and it's possible you didn't have this very brave person who had a rifle in his truck and go out and shoot and shoot and neutralize. I can only say this: if he wouldn't have had uh, a weapon. Instead of having 20, he would have had hundreds of dead. This is how I feel. The problem is that the Rifle Association is a powerful lobby in the United States. Nobody wants to ban uh, weapons in the United States, and each time a crazy guy wants to use it against people, nobody can stop him. This, he didn't say this. It's one of the most powerful lobbies, weapons in pro-Israel. The press conference continued. Moon Jae-hing was saying that, I hope that Trump's visit to South Korea be an inflection point to manage uh, the Pe Korean Peninsula in a stable way. And we need close collaboration between the United States, China, and even North Korea for North Korea to freeze uh, his nuclear pro program. Wishful thinking. Um, these are wishful thinking. North Korea seems to go on its own way and according to his, its own interests. Democrats uh, applaud the Virginia elections, the winner in a, a press conference. And what happens here is that uh, I think it's quite clear that many people in Virginia was not happy with the way how the president tried to govern, and they couldn't do anything. He resorted to tweets. I think this was not only a, a rejection to President Trump, but to the policy they are following. Nancy Pelosi, we should recognize that there were good days, and the president came out and said that his candidate to Governor Gillespie lost there because he wasn't uh, beautiful enough as Trump. Well, let him think so. If uh, the next time they say he's not uh, as beautiful as Trump, well, we will continue having more victories in the opposition. In Virginia, that remains on the other side of the Potomac River, elect uh, Governor Ralph Norman says. Uh, in this country, and, and we can be leaders right here <coughs> to make Virginia. Uh, bueno, es un gran día. It's a great day. There's been lots of discussions about what these elections were. I think uh, uh, there is no doubt that there is more policy of people residing in Virginia. But uh, what I think uh, this message Virginia said not only to the country but to the world is that the division, hate, and politics that are taking over this country is not the USA's a style, the, the one people loves. It's not the uh, Virginia Commonwealth. And so I think people saw in Mark Herring, uh, Justin Fairfax, and myself, and uh, and the delegates that, that were successful, uh, Virginians that... Y creo que la gente que vio que Mark Herring, Justin Fairfax, y a mí mismo, los delegados que tuvieron éxito, virginianos que quieren ser servidores públicos, que quieren hacer las cosas de la manera de Virginia, I think that they want to center in the economy, and the people of Virginia have a job to support their families and take care of education for children to have access to elementary school, to medical care, quality medical care, elementary education, and accessible medicine. And not even think that we have that free here. That's the message I listened through while I traveled through Virginia. We are in Blacksville, Virginia. That's Chris Hurst. That journalist was shot in 2015. 
profundamente humillante y estoy muy agradecido la gente que está I'm en la I'm very thankful all the people in this room has walked many kilometers has knocked doors have made phone calls assuring that we connected with the voters and that we could carry out this campaign all these small and that seem uh, remote topics uh, are important because this is what will change the U.S. Uh, policy with the United States. Chris Hart, this is the, her way of doing politics, home by knocking on every door, asking who they will vote for and trying to convince them. Chris Hart is a news presenter who are, whose uh, girlfriend was shot by an uh, unhappy employee. He, Joseph Joss, was uh, supported by the National Rifle Association that was a very powerful lobby that always tries uh, for people to have a weapon. They have uh, weapon fairs. You go there and buy whatever you want. You can't even, don't even need uh, identification. Democrat Ralph Norman uh, won this sour contest in Virginia and uh, one over uh, a Republican. Northam says, this is when her girl, his girlfriend was killed. Anybody can have a gun. You don't even need identification. Trump, who supported Gillespie but did not campaign with him, took a rest uh, during his trip. They're not sending their best. Miren lo que dice aquí. Cuando México no envía a su gente, no 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 nos manda lo mejor. No está mandando a la persona que tiene muchos problemas. They're sending us people who have lots of problems, and they bring those problems here for the United States. They're bringing drugs, crime, they're rapers. Look, listen to him how he talks about Mexicans. And some could be good people. You have to see it. I don't know what I said. He is making fun of a journalist who stopped him once. Would you care if they send them back to Mexico? That people have has to leave and very quickly. He knows who to talk to. These are illegal immigrants. No human is illegal, he, he was told. We don't, I don't want to condemn a group uh, I don't know. I would investigate a list. This is unbelievable. Ku Klux Klan, give me a list of the groups and I will tell you what it will do. Okay, we're talking about David Duke and Ku Klux Klan. I truly don't know David. He washes his hand. The Vatican is attacked by ISIS. As you all know, it's a trophy, the greatest trophy. That Donald Trump were president. Well, I will absolutely apologize sometime in the hopefully distant future if I'm ever wrong. <laughs> the people, my people are so smart. And you know what else they say about my people? The polls. They say, I have the most loyal people. Did you ever see that? Where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? It's like incredible. Las barbaridades que dice este hombre son absolutamente... The things this man say are completely... Yeah, crazy, and he has a full sector of right-wing people who are supporting him. The former president of Mexico, Vicente Fox, he said today, and I'm quoting him, he said, I'm not going to pay for that, quote, effing wall. I will, and the wall just got 10 feet taller, believe me. It's got 10 feet taller. This man asked Mexico to pay for the wall he wanted to put place between both countries, and now he says, uh, we'll make it, I'll make him pay much more than that. This guy is kicking diplomacy, doing what his head tells him, which is so ridiculous as the hair he just cut. 
This is a danger. This man is dangerous, and there's nothing from there that gives peace to the hemisphere. We're living more than difficult times, because with this character in command of the United States, that besides as a multimillionaire, successful multimillionaire, is used uh, to everybody saying yes because he signs the text. There's a great difference between being rich uh, of heart like a Kennedy and a guy like this who has despicable concepts and what, what it comes for Latin America. We have to pay attention to his foreign policy. He is in China now. Well, we already informed him. Well, we'll be back tomorrow when our dear and polluted only planet has turned once again around its own axis. And we will be here to show you the small story of the next 24 hours. Studio 3, the pioneer channel of Venezuelan TV. The program dossier ends here. This is Walter Martinez, producer and conductor.